Back. Record. Review. The sheer dominance. The sheer ferocity with which this match was won. That is something that actually uh, caught my attention. What is his name? You know who he is. Fastest to 250 wickets and 6,000 runs. Standing at 6,101 runs. Congratulations, Shakib Al Hassan. But the match is not over yet, or the tournament is not over yet. There's still a lot more to be done. But congratulations to Bangladesh. I will have to say that. Because. I believe they won this match with 8.5 overs remaining. They chased down 322 with 8.5 overs and 7 wickets in hand. This shows you it's not only West Indies can, that can take an advantage of a small ground. Even Bangladesh can take advantage of a small ground. So it's all in the head. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Best Cricket Reviews. Unfortunately, today is only going to be a short version because, like I said, I do have work. And, like it or hate it, my work comes first. Although I catch whatever I can, and the rest I catch on replay. But yeah, unfortunately, they're not, there's not enough hours of the day for me to, like, you know, uh, come back and watch an 8-hour co- extended replay. And then, like, the, the do research, then do make a video, do uh, extra uh, uh, study on the match and the, and the press conference and whatnot. Yeah, there's not, there's not enough hours for, for the day for that. But I will say, for a good amount of the match, Bangladesh showed up. Not completely. And this is why. First of all, Mashrafi did not get any wickets. And I believe one catch was dropped of him. But, this is the secondary thing. At least he was economical. And yes, he, in a match, in a match where 321 runs were scored, Mashrafi was the only bowler who had an economy below 6. He had an economy of 4.6. Two or something. Okay, everyone else above above six. In fact, I believe the most expensive was Muhammad Saifuddin. Speaking of Muhammad Saifuddin, I saw like you know I saw the scorecard wide after wide, then one or two the two dot one or two regular balls again wide, then another ball again wide. Stop this, man! Stop this! This is not going to get you to the semi-finals okay if you follow if you follow my twitter tan tiger zero one i tweeted at uh, at you know the i believe uh, uh 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 bcb tigers that for the love of god don't get too happy australia is next and they're gonna be much harder than west indies another reason i'm not that satisfied with this match or with this outcome is because West Indies bowled a lot of bad deliveries and I mean this was always going to be the problem with West Indies West Indies they have bouncers but they don't know how to properly aim the bouncers consistently Shom- Andre Russell showed you when he got Shomo Sharkar out okay then Sheldon Cottrell brilliant 
piece of fielding by Sheldon Cottrell to get Tamim Iqbal out. But these moments are just few and far between. Shea Hope played a good knock. Shemron Hetmeyer played a good knock. In man, Shemron Hetmeyer, he was trying and trying. I'm like, I am not going to let Mehdi Miraz get me out again. Every time Mehdi Miraz gets him out. He says, I'm not going to get, I think every time but once. But he says, I'm not going to let this guy get me out again. Well, uh, well, he didn't get out another way though. But Nicholas Puran uh, tried, I guess. Kudos to Muhammad Saifuddin for getting Chris Gale out very early. So that was good. Yes, there was not drop catch. That was Tamim Iqbal. But other than that, Bangladeshi fielding was actually much improved. I wouldn't say perfect, but, you know, much, much improved. There was a run out chance that was missed. Um, and Bangladesh, once again, they're getting a bit too trigger happy with the, with the short pitch bowling. Listen, listen. Look at the look at the India Pakistan match and look at India's pitch map. Okay, see how clustered they are, they, they, uh, the 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 deliveries are around the good length area or just short of a length area. Okay, Bangladesh should do that, emulate success. Okay, the batters are doing it now. The bowlers should also perform. Otherwise, you are not. You are not going to the semifinals. Trust me on this. If your bowling doesn't improve, if you're batting, like, you know, also, like, you know, some slight improvements need to be made. But if your bowling significantly doesn't improve, you are not going to the semifinals. But that being said, in this match, Litton Kumar Das, man, shout out to you, man. Look, I was following the Bengali commentary. You know, you know, for you know, for a little bit, like you know, while I was being uh, uh, driven back to work after, you know, after having lunch, um, the guy said that uh, Sheldon Cottrell, like you know, act chokka, do chokka, teen chokka, and then there's another boundary. Hey, the ball, like, like ball shimana bare Sheldon Cottrell le career shesh, and then and then they played the sound part of a boundary. I'm like, okay, that's a nice way to put it. <laughs> Uh, that is a nice way to put it, but yeah, Litton Das, man, kudos to you, man. You, like, you know, you turned up, but keep in mind, you are not going to get bad bowling every match. You are not going to get this bad bowling every match, especially against Australia, because here's something that Australia know how to do much more than West Indies. Australia know how to win from almost any position. India have learned that too. India and Australia, they know how to win from any position. I will I won't say England because you know we you know we've already faced England. But yeah, these are the two teams remaining. These, these are the two big teams remaining. I'm not I'm not saying take Pakistan lightly because Pakistan are an, are not a wounded, are a bleeding, hemorrhaging animal. And it, it basically, you know, does it fight till it's fight with its last with its with its last breath or fight till its last breath? It's basically breathing its last few breaths right now in this tournament. Pakistan, Afghanistan can always be surprising. Don't be complacent just because I said the the honeymoon honeymoon period was was over. Okay. Uh, Shomo Sharkar, he's he's starting to like you know get back into some form, which is good to see. But I would like to see him score at least a 50 in the next match, at least. Tamim Iqbal, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, you you're unlucky, but you have to maintain this, because Australia are five times world champions and current world champions. Tamim has to maintain this form, but he did look very good. In fact, I was seeing the press conference. Shakib actually told Tamim that we're getting enough bad balls. We can finish this. And they would have finished it. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Tamim got out the way he did. Mushrik Rahim, uh, a bit of a soft dismissal. 
but the bounce did him. The pace and the bounce did him. But Mushrik Rahim should be very cognizant of that, that, yeah, he got out this way, Australia are watching. They will target him maybe that way as well. Yeah, this, and this thing about Shakibul Hassan getting lives, listen, a lot of innings like this, a lot of innings like this, you get top edges, okay? You get miscued shots. You get balls falling in no man's land. You get these. It's a part of cricket. Listen, let me take you back to the 2008 uh, Asia Cup. Suresh Raina, okay? Wonder where, he, wonder where he's at right now. Suresh Raina, he scored 115 of 90 odd balls. Okay? Okay. There used to be a channel called, I, I think it's still there, called Neo Sports. And there used to be a, a talk show called Cricket Nirvana or something like that. Or like, you know, like a Cricket Chatter or, or something like that, okay? I called in. I actually called in that show, if I'm not mistaken. And I said, or one of these shows, like, you know, what they're talking about, uh, Suresh Raina. He said he scored a, I said, yeah, you guys are talking about he scored 100 against Bangladesh in 1998 balls. Yeah, listen, Suresh Raina was allowed to score those runs because he was dropped three times. Now, that is what you call riding your luck. Ball falling in no man's land and whatnot, I don't call that, I don't call that riding your luck. I'll call that stupid fielding, but it's not as serious as serious as a drop catch. So, this stuff happens in cricket. Okay, if that's the case, didn't Rohit Sharma edge, uh, edge uh, like, you know, some, uh, 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 some deliveries? Doesn't other batsmen also edge some deliveries and he said, oh, just short of, just short of the field and whatnot. Yeah, stuff happens like this. Stuff happens. This is not... This is not getting life. But still, Shakib still should play a bit more carefully because the better teams are not going to be this bad in, uh, like, you know, on the field, in bowling and in fielding. I'm sorry, West Indies were also horrible in the field. There were also, I believe, 22 extras, 22 or something odd extras given by Bangladesh. Area of improvement. Defin definite area of improvement. But I will have to give Bangladesh credit here. Their death bowling was good. Because Jason Holder said it right in the press conference. West Indies did fall 40, 45 runs short. They should have been 360, 370 on this pitch. No, on this pitch. They did fall short. And that is courtesy of the Bangladesh death bowling. Which still has a lot of room for improvement. Man of the match is obviously Shakibul Hassan. Two wickets. I believe 126 not out. Litton Kumar Das unfortunately could not make his century. But you know. Kudos to him for that 90 odd runs. And you know what Bangladesh. Bangladesh cricket. Thank you for proving me wrong. That maybe you don't need a Rubul Hussain. Maybe if you reinforce the batting. Instead of Mus uh, Muhammad Mithun. If you actually play a batter who's good. We can actually chase down a lot more bigger totals and we can actually and, and, and we can actually like you know out bat a lot of teams. Hopefully this is sustained. <coughs> Bangladesh have their next match on Thursday. Monday is pretty much gone, Tuesday and Wednesday. Two days to relax, recharge your batteries and train. Please don't go the Pakistan cricket route. Apparently, the the social media uh, pictures and whatnot, and posts where where the Pakistani players are apparently like smoking, like smoking shisha and like you know eating like you know a lot of desi food and whatnot. <coughs> and basically, the outcome was Sarfraz Ahmed was yawning. He was yawning against India on the pitch, like you know, like on the field. All right, that's about it. Once again, congratulations to Bangladesh. But don't be too happy about it. 
because the next match is Australia. Australia will be nowhere as easy as West Indies. This is only one step, one step closer to the semi-final spot. You still have three more steps to go. Don't think that, okay, we can lose one match and then, like, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll win the other two and then, like, you know, hope for some miracle to happen and whatnot. No. Win three more matches. Oh, sorry. No, no, what am I? Yeah, Australia. Sorry. Four more matches. Win four more matches. Sorry about that. I don't know what came up. Australia, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Win all four matches. Don't just win three matches and say, Oh, y you know what? Like, oh, yeah, some other team will lose and then some game will get washed out. No. No, you can't risk it. All remaining four matches has to be won. We won two. We need six. Hit that like and subscribe button. And leave your comments in the comment section below. This is your boy the Bengal Dragon signing out.